Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Yorkies Bits and Bobs. Today we have another unboxing. And uh, it should be uh, a processor. It should be Intel 8th Gen Core i7 8700K processor. And the reason for the K on the end is because you can overclock it. Anyway, I'm doing a PC build, like I said in a couple of other of my videos. A uh, bit new motherboard processor. RAM and hard drive in. Oh, that will, yeah, my hard drive, that will give me seven hard drives. All right, we're comfortable. But anyway, uh, it's, I'll get on with the unboxing. We'll talk as we're going. Uh, oh, yes, it is. So it's a Core i7 unlocked. Yeah, there's not much to say if you've ever seen a processor. There's not a lot there. So I'll just show you around the box. Yeah, got to be careful static electricity as well. Oh look, looks like the seal's open. Wouldn't me. Well, while that's open, we'll open it from that side, shall we? So we'll have a look. It's supposed to be brand new. It might just be the seal didn't seal properly. Intel Core i7 processor. And there she is. I say not a lot of say, but it does a lot of work. Right, I oh, I see. Push it out there like that. I think. So, yeah, one the other side. So there's not a lot to see. I'm not taking it out of there anyway. So, I'll show you the back first. Then you have all your little pins. that are very delicate. So you break that, you're buggered. So that's it on my iBoxing Intel Core. I don't think it's a lot. The installation instructions always handy to read. Now that's even sealed. Oh, it's a little logo on the back. Oh, I'll show you that actually. So it says on there, there's that one it is instructions. And it's got a little logo thing on the back. I think it looks quite nice. They should be able to peel that off, I would have thought. Attention. Use of Intel logo. Oh my god. Anyway, I'll read that later. So anyway, that's the unboxing of my uh, Core i7. Uh, oh yeah, it's um, LGA 1151. That's the socket it goes on. You can't just put any processor on any motherboard. It just doesn't work like that. It has to have all the right pins to connect. And like I say, this is an um, 8th Gen one. My motherboard that's coming is 8th Gen only, or up. As far as I know, it's 8th Gen. It doesn't go backward compatible so I'm looking forward to getting that and uh, doing the PC build I'm not sure if I'm going to be filming it or not but anyway that's another story so anyway thank you for watching if you have any comments please post them below and if you like my videos please give me the thumbs up and if you didn't like them give me the thumbs down and please subscribe thank you very much for watching